Hi, good afternoon. Happy Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Uh, it's a hot one out there. It's hot, and I got it down to 72. So it's just blowing away my air. I ran out of tomatoes. I ran out of cucumbers. I got to make a run. I don't know when. But it's a long weekend. I don't think I have anything planned. I'm trying to stay low key. I have some macaroni and cheese. This is all the goodies my daughter sent me home with. And this is a, a chicken, was in a chicken sandwich. But I threw away the bread. It was like a bun. I didn't, I don't know. I just didn't want the bread. I'm trying to take it easy here. So this is the chicken. It's a cutlet. It's buffalo, spicy, good. The macaroni and cheese, I haven't had that in ages. And I cut up a little carrot, you know, for a little vegetable. Because I've been real bad. I feel like I've been bad anyway. I want to say thank you to Rachel Hoey. Look at this cute cup, mug. Thank you for being awesome. You're awesome. You're all awesome. It's really cute. I have a little heart over there. And it says Henson. Henson ceramic mug. Really, really cute. Coffee mug. Very good. Coffee tea. Pink marble style ceramic mug. Thank you, Rachel. I'll be sure to enjoy the cup with my tea or coffee. It says coffee mug, but you know, we're free spirits, so we use tea, water, who cares? <laughs> oh, I forgot a napkin. Oh, I wish we got something. I'm wishing you a wonderful weekend. Uh, it's a long weekend here in the United States. I got my red, white, I'm um, wearing blue. A pants. <clears throat> They're like pedal pushes. It's too hot for pants. I went to see my mom. She's doing good. She ate. She didn't give me any numbers. <laughs> she doesn't always give me numbers. Once in a while she'll start talking. She didn't talk about numbers today, so. And I don't push it, you know. I let her talk about whatever she wanted to talk. She was talking about, I don't even know what she was talking about. She was talking about some, a lady, I don't know. I don't know if it's in the present, in the past, or she's just making it up. She doesn't know me. But she looks good, and um, her hair was nice. That she had got, they cut it. They gave her a nice style. We asked for it to be cut every month, we, you know, to give her a trim, and they do. They they take care, and they know that we're coming every day. So I think that matters. Get something good to eat. I don't know. I'm, I'm waiting to see, hear the fireworks. Usually they start early, but I haven't heard. I missed the fireworks, actually. They were Wednesday night in the park. My sister went. Usually I go, but I was, at, I was with Mr. Tucker. And I know he don't like the fireworks. I, I, had, a, I had two dogs. Manchester Terriers. They're a beautiful breed. They were both girls. The first dog was um, called, we called her Girl Friday. She lasted nine years. What a heartbreaker. When you lose a pet, it's a heartbreaker. 
And then my other dog, same breed, because it's such a good breed. Very, very short hair. Adorable. Black and tan. Adorable dog. Manchester Terrier. The prettiest dog. Um, her name was Miss Penny Lane. She also lasted only nine years. It's not fair. Nine years with a dog is not nearly long enough. <clears throat> so after those two, me and my mother, we were both heartbroken. My mother used to take them out when I was at work. It was good exercise for my mother. And then when the, when the dogs died, you know, when Miss Penny died, then my mother stopped going out, you know? She used to take her out all the time, and you know, now she stopped. And I think that was like the beginning of the problem. You know, she was losing exercise, not getting out as much as she could. And then, of course, then the stroke didn't help. Well, that's life, I guess. I need a napkin. <clears throat> Peace. Enjoy the weekend. And... Get something good to eat.